Kariv Slanders is an Australian writer, producer and director, best known for Red Dog, Kill Me Three Times and Australian Day. It's essentially a story about stories. It's a true story about a dog that lived up in Dampier in the 1970s um, when that town was being born um, and became, it's, it's now one of the sort of central iron ore capitals of the world. Um, and it's a story about the formation of this community and how this dog basically brought together the community. You know, the film was a low budget film and everyone worked on it very, very hard. You know, there was not much money. People did it because they really believed in the project. So I'm just really grateful and happy that their work's been recognised. I kind of feel that whenever you make a film, you've really got to kind of scare yourself, put yourself, challenge yourself, and put yourself in a position you normally wouldn't put yourself in. And, Working with animals was one of those things that people always said don't do, but just because they say don't do it means doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. I don't think he really knew who I was. Um, I don't think he definitely hadn't seen any of my earlier films. <laughs> I was just this kind of pip, pip squeak, squeak director, and I kept on trying to make him feel comfortable because he was quite nervous. I said, Bill, you know, don't worry about getting. Oh, get out of here! Go away! Oh, no, 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 no! Go, go, go! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but in the sweetest way possible. But it was we had a great day. A fun day. It was lovely. Everyone on set knew that there was perhaps a bit of history being made. How do you go about the casting process for a dog? Well, it was just like casting an actor, you know, it was like trying to find the right, you know, for me 99% of directing is casting. Okay, uh, Coco, I'd just like to try a couple of expressions that I saw you do in training the other day, you know, I just want to sort of just see where we can take them. Now, Coco, try, try that little snarl. Ooh, the snarl's great. <laughs> Fantastic, perfect. For me, um, a very inspiring period of the you know the early 70s and the and the 80s, you know, where people like Gillian Armstrong and Phil Noyce and George Miller, who I call the kind of architects of the Australian cinema we have now, started. And that period for me is a very, very exciting, rich, fertile uh, period because these were filmmakers making not only genre films, they were making um, their own personal films. They were making an Australian cinema that was recognised internationally and they were making films about Australia un that were uniquely Australian but also um, universal. And uh, again as an Australian filmmaker I find that incredibly exciting that you can tap into that, that source or into that energy um, at any point and use it as a, as a sort of a um, as, as I said, it's like, kind of like as food <laughs> to keep you sustained and to realise that ultimately it's, 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 it's making films that you believe in and knowing that ultimately that audiences are out there somewhere.